Hi everyone, I'm really excited to be here today on the You Can podcast as a guest collaborator. I'm Jen Giffen. I can be found on Twitter at Virtual GIF. I am a level two Google certified educator and a digital literacy resource teacher, which is sort of like a TOSA or a, a tech integration specialist in the York Region District School Board, which is just north of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I love tech and love being organized. So when Google Drive came out, I was super excited. But there were some things that I didn't really love. You see, I used to have files that looked a lot like this. Colorful, easy to find things, and it was awesome. And then suddenly I got this. It was alphabetized, so that's great, but it was dull. And really, I have dyslexia, and those letters jump around a lot. So I needed colors, and I needed symbols to help me make sense of my files. And then I found this blog. Ladybug teacher files. In particular, I found an entry that turned this into this. Colors, symbols, everything I wanted. I was super jazzed and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's start with something pretty simple, which is just changing the color of the file folder. You wanna navigate down to the file folder you want and select it so it's highlighted. Then go to the three dots where it says more action and choose change color. In this case, because it's limelight, I'm gonna choose lime green. And look, it's lime green. The next thing I wanna do is navigate to a website. And the website is called copypastecharacter.com. And as you can see, there are a ton of different characters here. And it's pretty cool. You can go to the drop down menu, select anything you want. I really love the emojis ones, because I like the emojis from my cell phone. And I can scroll through the list to find anything that's related. Now in my world, Limelight is my cheerleading gym. Yes, we have cheerleading here in Canada. And so I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom and there's this cutie little cheer bow. I'm gonna right click to select copy. I'm then gonna navigate back to my drive where I'm going to go to the three dots, more actions and choose rename and do the command stroke for paste. So control or command V et voila. I now have a cute little cheer bow beside Limelight. The one thing I do want you to notice is if I put the bow at the front instead of the end, it re-alphabetizes it for me. So while in her examples on the blog, she had them in the front, I like to keep mine at the end because I like the alphabetization and I'm not necessarily using numbers or letters. You might notice too on the site, sometimes when you click the icon with a regular left click, it will turn yellow and that has automatically copied it to your clipboard. And just like before, if you navigate back to the tab where your drive is, you can rename the file and just use the command or control V to paste the symbol. I did something a little different there. Let me show you. Instead of going to the three dots, more actions, I just right clicked and all those more actions are there too. So you can rename that way as well. Don't get confused. There's two ways. So speeding up the process a little bit, you continue to do this, pick an icon and go back and rename it. And in the end, you end up having this beautiful drive wherein you have colors and pictures associated with your files. Super cool. If you wanna be a totally organized geek, you can go and do your subfolders too. I hope you now realize that you can have a pretty and organized Google Drive folder. Thanks for having me.